Proverbs chapter 19. A prudent wife is from the Lord. He that lendeth to the poor lendeth to the Lord. A poor man is better than a liar. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. Also that the soul be without knowledge, it is not good. And he that hasteth with his feet sinneth. The foolishness of... Mm, sorry. The foolishness of man perverteth his way, and his heart fretteth against the Lord. Wealth maketh many friends, but the poor is separated from his neighbor. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. All the brethren of the poor do hate him. How much more do his friends go far from him? He pursueth them with words, yet they are wanting to him. He that getteth wisdom loveth his own soul. He that keepeth understanding shall find good. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall perish. Delight is not seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have rule over princes. The discretion of a man deferreth his anger, and it is his glory to pass over a transgression. But let's go back to verse 10. Delight is not seemly for a fool, much less for a servant to have a rule over princes. And keep to your own circumstances. Don't abuse your position. Don't seek a greater position than what you have. Now, remember, in this, this is servant means generally slave. But these proverbs are not meant to be applied solely to uh, that time period. So today, servants and princes, we could read this instead, much less for an employee to have rule over his employer. The employer has own, owns the material. It is him that is paying the wage. The worker should not think that he has the right to rule over his employer. But verse 12, the king's wrath is as the roaring of a lion, but his favor is as dew upon the grass. A foolish son is the calamity of his father, and the contentions of a wife are a continual dropping. House and riches are the inheritance of fathers, and a prudent wife is from the Lord. Slothfulness casteth into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. He that keepeth the commandment keepeth his own soul, but he that despiseth his ways shall die. He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay him again. Chasten thy son while there is hope, and let not thy soul spare for his crying. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Let's go back to this. Chasten thy son while there is still hope. In other words, discipline, chastening, set him right, correct him when he is wrong. Because there will come a time where it will not be possible to correct him again. If you don't do it when he is able to be corrected, there will come a time where you will have no power to correct him anymore. He will be too far gone. Let's go back to verse 19. A man of great wrath shall suffer punishment, for if thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. Oh, actually, this, we got to talk about this. Just, this is our modern justice system. If thou deliver him, yet thou must do it again. In other words, he's going to keep offending. So if you deliver him the first time, you have to, you need, he has to suffer the punishment. Because if he doesn't, he's going to do it again and again, and you're just going to have to keep pardoning him over and over because you're not, you're not enforcing the punishment. Verse 20. Hear counsel and receive instruction that thou mayest be wise in thy latter end. There are many devices in man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, that shall stand. The desire of a man is his, kind, is his kindness, and a poor man is better than a liar. The fear of the Lord tendeth to life. And he, that hath it, and he that hath it shall abide uh, satisfied. He shall not be visited with evil. 
A slothful man hideth his hand in his bosom, and will not so much as bring it to his mouth again. <laughs> a lazy man is so lazy he won't even eat because it takes too much work to bring his hand up to his mouth. Verse 25, smite a scorner, and the simple will beware, and reprove one that hath understanding, and he will understand knowledge. He that wasteth his father, and chaseth, and chaseth away his mother, is a son that causeth shame, and bringeth reproach. Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that causeth to err from the words of knowledge. An ungodly witness scorneth judgment, and the mouth of the wicked devoureth iniquity. Judgments are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools. Now this is a counsel that Solomon's son apparently didn't follow. Cease, my son, to hear the instruction that causeth to err. In other words, not all education, not all instruction is going to be beneficial. Some is going to cause us to err. Some is going to lead us into destruction, into false paths. So it's not that we should be listening to everybody. It is that we should be listening to the right sources. And when we seek out the bad source, when we seek out the wrong sources, we are setting ourselves up for a fall. This is why the church counsels us to seek out good sources. When we have questions and doubts, search the scriptures, read the prophets, search for the good sources. Because the bad sources will lead to error and false ideas. Leaving that here, and I'll pick it up in the next video. I wanted to add this to each of these videos of Proverbs chapters 10 through 24. Because I'm making only brief comments on some of the Proverbs, because each, each verse is its own separate proverb in these chapters, I want to extend this invitation to anybody listening. If you would like to make a comment on any of the Proverbs, post a comment, and or just ask me a question of what I think of any of the, of the Proverbs that I may, have not made a comment about.